Hello YTPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. I am smoking some C&D Red Carolina Red Flake in my Mark Tinsky pipe. I believe this Carolina Red Flake from 2019. Really enjoying this blend. Um, I get scared by uh, red flakes because I don't really like tanginess and some of them have a lot of tang and this one not so much you get a a sweetness uh, from it and the sweetness I guess could go in a citrus flavor I don't really pick that out specifically the more strong flavor is kind of a I don't know I would say kind of like a earthy woody flavor kind of like a more what I would associate with uh, Burley's than Virginia's savory Anyway, it's good. I like it. I'm glad I gave it a try. I'll probably have to get some when the release comes this year. Definitely keep your eyes open. Get your self subscribed on the smoking pipes. Eh. The other retailers will probably have this one too because it's been around a while. Anyway, I thought I would show off, or show you, not really show off, show you some stuff that I was planning on packing for my trip on vacation. Just a lazy vacation to uh, Michigan with family. It'll be fun. So I have my uh, dark fired leather bag that I've shown you before um, this guy makes a really high quality stuff and inside it you can see my pipes so let's go through what I'm gonna pack here this is uh, my burly smoker the virtual pipe club 2020 bones pipe and I'm gonna bring this uh, Yule's Perfection Plug Burley. I really like this stuff. It's really easy, just light up and go. And I always want one blend that's just a, oh, I don't wanna fuss, just get it in the pipe and go. So that's that. I'm packing the Mark Tinsky dynamic duo of these pipes uh, both of these are my anything but Latakia and Virginia's and I'm going to also bring the never let me down exhausted rooster I love this stuff um, because I love it so much it's a good morning smoke I really like it in the mornings and I'll have opportunities mostly in the morning to smoke but not only that I'm going to try and break open this tin of capstan uh, navy flake so this is uh, 2020 last year it's like a year old the tin so I'm gonna give that a try smoke that when I'm down there some of the other things oh I I do bring a uh, just in case a pipe for someone else um, this is the first pipe I got I am not certain what wood it is it looks like it's a uh, non-american soil wood if I had to guess 
because <sighs> I'll be around other people. I got my lighter, but in case it's windy, I'll carry uh, just a standard Bic lighter. Got one of those. A uh, bunch of filters. Some of these pipes, uh, specifically from Mark Tinsky, only fit the narrow ones, Vaughn, or I like these John Alsbury filters. They're they're nine mil, but they're like slightly smaller than like the um, Peterson or the Stanwell or what I like, the Stanwell filters. Um, so I'm bringing those. I have to bring both sizes because like uh, this pipe requires a smaller size. This one does the bigger size. <laughs> this one can do a bigger size. And this one that I'm smoking is a smaller size. <laughs> So I just kind of learn it. It works. Um, and then I also have a wind cap just in case it gets windy. Throw that on there and I'm good to go. And some spare tampers. Uh, just have some of those around. An extra one in case someone smokes with me. And then um, I also have a uh, Motris to this day pipe stand that I can bring along and this is my little pipe tray it's really just a sample that I got from a uh, furniture company for a couch uh, but it was a big sample and it works great to just lay my tobacco out there on it and then I can just curl it and dump it back in when I'm done and then I just roll it all up and it just hardly takes up any space Oh, I'm noticing I forgot pipe filters. Need to put some of those in there. And then um, I also have this uh, ashtray. Yeah, pipe cleaners, women. Uh, this ashtray. Uh, this I actually got from Ethan Parsimonious Piper. Um, so that if I am trying to be more civil and not throw my tobacco on the ground, I can use this. Um, and I think that's about it. I'll probably throw the mic in there just in case I decide to make a video. Oh, pipe went out. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's what I make. So very cool bag that I can fit all this stuff in there. It's just nice to like plop it out next to my chair and just have all my stuff and accoutrements right next to me so anyway thought I'd show you that looking for or uh, I'm enjoying watching your vid uh, VRs I did want to make a comment that the VR is for the lighter and the pipe so if you want the stand just say I'm in on that video. In one of these videos I'll say who I got logged because I'm a I'm a dope and I might miss somebody. Um if you know uh Lewis Sher Sherlock McKenzie Piper some of you guys watch his channel kind of seemed distressed saying that he wasn't gonna make videos anymore some stuff going on in his life and uh, just updating because I've been in contact with him that uh, he's gonna be all right things are looking better for him don't know if that means he'll be making videos anytime soon but so, but still good to, to pray for him. Send him positive vibes if you, if you so choose. Just personal stuff going on. Other than that, enjoying the nice warm day. Not like uh, you guys on the northwest U.S., those crazy high temperatures. I know how that goes. In Nebraska, we'd get in the hundreds, and I didn't have air conditioning. 
and I slept on the floor with a box fan at my head and I had wood floors so <laughs> put a little pad underneath me and that's how I spent uh, my summers but well, I'm going to continue to enjoy this. Uh, tomorrow I'll leave for vacation. So I might be slower at seeing your videos and responding if you do VRs. But don't worry, I'll get to it. And uh, I'll try to keep up. I don't know how much time I have time to watch videos. But all right. You guys all have a good day. Bye.